Virginia Tech is in a small college town. It's called Blacksburg. Uh, mm-hmm. It's a very beautiful town. I mean, uh, wherever you stay, you have a very well connected bus service. All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, welcome to another video, another video intro with, uh, with another very special person, Anish. He's currently pursuing his master's in computer science uh, from, uh, I think it's one of the top schools, Virginia Tech. Uh, so today we are going to learn all about this university from Anish. Uh, but before we deep dive, uh, I would love to hear a little bit about yourself, Anish, from you. Yeah. Thanks, Nitin. So, hey, everyone. My name is Anish. Uh, I am from Nellur, Andhra Pradesh. Uh, I came to US in fall 21. Uh, and this is my second year at Virginia Tech studying MS in computer science. Got it. Awesome. So let's dive right into it, Anish. Uh, I think the first question which I would uh, have, and actually a lot of people uh, would have who are watching this is, uh, what was your profile, right? What uh, overall profile uh, when you applied to uh, Virginia Tech. Yeah. So I graduated from BITS with a computer science degree. Uh, in BITS, my GPA was like 8.14. Mm-hmm. And I had written like three papers in machine learning. In uh, They got published in some good conferences. Mm-hmm. Uh, my GRE score was, I think, 320. But I don't think I used that uh, to apply to Virginia Tech because during COVID time, most of the universities waived off uh, the GRE. Right. Yeah, and my TOEFL was, I think, 105. Yeah. Got it. That is, I mean, both the scores were really good. Yeah. Uh, so now uh, you must have made a list of universities, right? Uh, like, let's say, yeah. 46, some number. So which all universities did you apply to? And uh, then you must have got few admits. So how did you shortlist Virginia Tech? Yeah. So I was very ambitious with my uh, university choices because I felt like uh, uh, my papers, I felt my papers are my strongest point in my, uh, you know, applications. Mm-hmm. So I thought uh, I applied to all top schools like UCLA, UCSD, Texas mm-hmm. and um, Purdue, UMass Amherst, uh, yeah, and NC State, Virginia Tech. Yeah, I think maybe I might be missing one or two, but yeah. Got and I got admits from uh, Virginia Tech and NC State. I chose uh, Virginia Tech because I was told that Virginia Tech MS at least has a lot of funding opportunities. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I thought, uh, you know, uh, uh, if I go to Virginia Tech, maybe my MS will be free of cost. That was my idea. <laughs> got it. Got it. And we'll talk about that as well. Uh, just in the following questions. Uh, uh, but thank you for sharing that. Now, once you uh, landed here, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think one of the things which people start looking into once they finalize a university um, is uh, living, like where to live, right? Yeah. So uh, with Virginia Tech, how is the situation? Uh, do people live close to the university or a little bit far from university? Uh, if you can share a couple of uh, communities where people uh, generally stay like students that would be great yeah so Virginia Tech is in a small college town it's called Blacksburg Uh, Mm -hmm. it's a very beautiful town I mean uh, wherever you stay you have a very well connected bus service Mm -hmm. so from my place every 15 minutes I get a bus and Mm -hmm. uh, if I take that bus I will be in campus within like 10 minutes so yeah where you stay it doesn't matter mostly uh when you are looking to you know uh look for accommodation to stay uh in virginia tech i guess the only thing you need to look at is uh the cost cost of the apartment that you are going to take mm-hmm. and also you know how many how many grad students will be there around you because uh, some communities have more Indian grad students, some communities doesn't. Uh, it's up to your choice, I guess. But yeah, I guess once you get an admit, uh, you'll easily get to know what all you know communities are very good. I live in Hithwood, 
it's filled with indian grad students i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> <laughs> i think definitely it's a good thing yeah. uh, uh got it so i think that's good that you have uh, bus service every 10 minutes that is that really helps uh, mm-hmm. and will that bus service be there throughout like even in the night yeah so it will be full service till i guess like evening 6:37 but after that it will be reduced service so you will get bus every i mean once a half, once in half an hour got it got it because in during the exam times right you might stay uh, in the library for some time to study and yeah. might come a little bit later you know so in that case this helps yeah 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 how is the town in general is it safe to travel in the night or how is it it's very safe because it's a college town I guess most of the residents either you know are studying in Virginia Tech or working for Virginia Tech, mm-hmm. so most like very professional people. Yeah, I feel it's very safe. Got uh, it. I mean, now and then we keep getting these alerts about uh, you know people with guns or something, but um, uh, I have um, at least I don't feel I feel very safe here. Mm-hmm. And yeah. as far as I think, what I believe is as far as you travel in groups. which is generally what people do like uh, you are living five six people together generally all them go together to college yeah. and come back together uh, it is always safe yeah yeah uh, now moving on to the next topic and which is generally one of the concerns which people have is the money that they are going to invest over two years uh, when pursuing masters right so with virginia tech how is the situation like if you can give us a split of what would be the tuition fees for two years Uh, and then in part two, what would be the monthly expenses, which extrapolated to like total expenses over two years? So yeah, the I twenty amount for one year is like a fifty k, and uh, tuition per semester is seventeen k. Okay. And uh, living expenses, I think it depends on how you spend, but it's very cheap. Like. Uh, the room that i am staying in mm-hmm. uh, i'm paying like 430 dollars mm-hmm. uh it's like a four bedroom apartment and i have one room for myself so it, right. is, it is pretty cheap compared to other places but yeah maybe you can you know you can you can might take uh, maybe about 1k i think using 1k you can live peacefully but again it depends on how you spend what you do Mm, like one thousand dollar per month, you are saying. Yeah, got it, got it. So, uh, about sixty eight thousand, or maybe around sixty thousand for two years in tuition fees, and then, uh, maybe about sixteen to twenty thousand dollars in expenses. Yeah, the thing is, if you are doing like uh, MS, you need to stay for two years. But mm. if you are gonna do MNC, uh, I guess you can finish it off in three semesters. So it will be little bit less. Yeah, less maybe around. 60 70k maybe got it got it uh so now once you have uh, once people understand that okay these are the expenses generally one of the things that they worry about is okay how can i you know reduce my loan or use my loan as less as possible which mm-hmm. essentially translates into getting an on campus job as soon as you land here right uh, so how is the situation with on campus jobs uh, in virginia tech uh, do generally people get on campus jobs and uh, Uh, what are some of the tricks that they can use to get on campus jobs yeah there are lot of on campus jobs on virginia tech uh, one job which you can get very easily is dining it's like 15 dollar per hour pay and mm-hmm. almost i mean many many students uh, work in vt dining services mm-hmm. and there are also other jobs like you know grader uh, research assistants gtas gras etc there is also a graduate assistant uh job uh i mean if you if you talk about tricks i think the best way to find out about jobs and opportunities is to you know talk to more people because mm-hmm. uh, then everyone will give you some information which you can use to your advantage mm-hmm. uh i can talk about computer science mm-hmm. uh, in computer science uh ms and phd students uh may get gt offers mm-hmm. or gt offers mm-hmm. but for i mean students 
uh, department does not give any GTA. So they have to look uh, outside uh, in other departments, like maybe a GTA in physics department or a GRA under some professor in civil department. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, if, if you ask me what you should do when you get admitted, I would say just mail different professors on, uh, you know, what your interests are and what you can offer them. Mm -hmm. And professors have enough funding. They will fund you as a GRA. And once you get a GRA, uh, you know, your tuition fees will be waived off and you will get like 2K per month. So you will be set. And if they like your work, they keep they will keep extending your contract and uh, you will be done with your MS or image. Yeah, yeah. And you would probably save money as well because if your yeah. your fees is waived off and your expense is like one thousand dollars and you're getting two thousand, so you are pretty much saving as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's great. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. Now coming to the curriculum part, right? Uh how is the overall curriculum about uh, uh of computer science mm -hmm. in Virgin Tech? Uh I have a belief that in your whole course, generally of 10, 12 courses, uh there are about two to three courses which are really good, right? Which mm -hmm. actually make a difference in your resume. So mm -hmm. how's the situation with Virginia Tech in terms of curriculum? Yeah. So I'm a systems person. So I will tell you some systems courses. There is one good course called Advanced Linux Kernel Programming, mm -hmm. uh, which is offered by EC department. It's a dual offering. I think that is a very good course if you know if you want to get into some kernel developer positions or even uh, roles like driver development, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is this other course called uh, network architecture and programming. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, I'm I'm currently a GTA for that course. I think that course, I mean the assignments, the prof, the way the professor teaches, I think it's it's very good. It'll it'll. Uh, strengthen your networking fundamentals a lot and mm. uh, yeah you can apply to many networking roles as well mm. and for the third for the third course i would say choose some seminar style course mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, i i love seminar style courses because you know there won't be any teaching as such but it will be more discussion in every class one student will present a paper and then all of us will discuss, maybe, you know, analyze what the paper is doing, what it can do better or something like that. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a good mix of things you can take, like in a similar style-based course, you know, uh, you will learn different skills, like your discussion uh, skills will improve. Mm -hmm. And courses like LKP, uh, your technical skills will improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But... Uh, if you ask me like uh, maybe a suggestion or something, I would say take easy courses. Mm. These are very tough courses. And uh, uh, yeah. 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 One of the recommendations yeah. which I give when, nice. I, uh, yeah. when I am coaching people is uh, uh, generally, and this is what I did as well. What I used to do is uh, at least in the semesters where I have to at least uh, either search a job or an internship. I would take only one hard course and either two very easy course or yeah. uh, one medium and one easy. So one hard, one medium, one easy uh, yeah. uh, or two easy. That way what I used to happen is I used to get time uh, to apply and prepare and, you know, go through the, the whole interview process as well. Um, yeah. 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 So what you said just made uh, total sense. Uh, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Now, moving to the last part, right, uh, uh, of uh, one of the primary area of concern which people have is, okay, so I decided I want to go to Virginia Tech. How is the job situation, right? Uh, so uh, how is the job situation with Virginia Tech? Uh, do people generally get internships? Uh, if they do, where do they get internships? Is it like very close to Virginia Tech or people have to relocate to different parts of the country? Uh, and same uh, in terms of full-time jobs yeah for internships i guess many computer science students got internships uh i guess uh, many people got into bloomberg mm -hmm. bloomberg is i feel like a mass recruiter for uh, virginia tech got and, it. uh 
yeah i mean i i got an internship at vmware a couple of my friends got at meta mm -hmm. uh, yeah i mean i mean there are also some small companies some big companies people do get but i guess it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort maybe even luck sometimes mm -hmm. uh, i feel in india it's maybe it's different i'm uh, at least in my undergrad i felt for sure i know like you know i will get a job or something like that but in us it's it's completely upon you i don't think college matters that much for job search in us Hmm. maybe like top tier maybe stanford mit make sense for some trading companies but other than that i think it's completely up to you hmm. and i talk to my friends in texas and m and other other universities i mean uh, they also have a similar feeling that you know it's mostly about uh, your own profile your own resume and right. and of course career fairs do help and some companies come for career fairs and uh, you'll get uh, you know will definitely get a call interview call with them so yeah but the the number of companies come to career fair who hire international grad students is very less at least in virginetic mm -hmm. so yeah so there are lot of lot of companies outside right you you need to apply on your own yeah 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 and that's what i also uh, you know whenever i am coaching someone i am telling i always tell them that in india we had this mindset or at least the experience that we had is you would have tcs uh, infosys persistent cognizant coming to your campus and you would you know land a job pretty easily uh, but that doesn't happen here uh, and then the second thing which i try to tell them is in india we used uh, we used to you know be focused really on the ranking of the university right yeah if you go to iit you are set for life right but in us that's not the case even if you come from a uh, average school you can still land a fang job or a true uh, uh, you know in a get a good job in a good company right uh, yeah yeah i would definitely say this i mean if you have a couple of universities definitely choose like which university costs you less money which university gives you more exposure and uh, yeah maybe the location right a location in terms of not for job search but just you know to experience living there mm because job search these days it's mostly online and uh, many mm. people are flexible with the remote jobs as well so mm. yeah right right uh, all right i think with that we are pretty much at the end of the interview um, uh, anish and uh, so before we close for the day uh, i know you went through your uh, internship search experience as well what were your top two or three learnings Uh, which let's say if you had to go through again what would you change yeah uh i don't think i would change anything but uh, i started early i i have talked to people and people told me start early i started early but i applied to many companies hundreds of companies but i only got two calls uh first interview was from rivos i got rejected second one was from vmware i got accepted but one thing i would say is uh, it's persistence because there will be a lot of rejects only few offers and uh, yeah you might get like 3 4 interview calls you need to you know grab them yeah, yeah. but it might be also late i got vmware in spring uh, it's not like you'll come in in fall and you will immediately get a internship depends some people get some people don't but it's trying till the last day i guess until you get it yeah 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 well thank you for sharing that i think guys whoever is watching this is a very important point that uh it's about whatever it takes it's not that okay in india it used to be okay i applied to 10 companies i didn't get it uh, and you know generally you would get sad but uh yeah. us that's not the case you have to keep going and uh, yeah. uh you know keep applying and it's part of the process failure is definitely part of the process uh But yeah, thank you so much, Anish, for you know taking out time today and sharing all of this amazing information. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I hope you had as much fun as I had talking to you. Uh, uh, but with that, folks, uh, we are done for today. Definitely, let us know your favorite uh, pointer from today's interview in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.